Adrian Newey was recently spotted at Bologna Airport amid rumors that the Red Bull F1 design guru has received an offer to join Ferrari. The current uncertainty surrounding Red Bull has led to suggestions that Newey, the most successful designer in F1 history, could seek a move away from the reigning constructors' champions. Reports last month claimed Newey received a lucrative offer from Lawrence Stroll to join Aston Martin over the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix weekend. Mike Crack, the Aston Martin team principal, denied at the recent Japanese GP that the Silverstone-based outfit had approached Nui, insisting the team are quite happy with their current technical lineup, with the situation at Red Bull bubbling away in the background, despite three victories from the opening four races of the F1 2024 season. However, their rivals have tasted blood since the first sign of tension behind the scenes at F1's leading team. Rumors said that Nui has also received an offer from Ferrari, and was recently spotted at Bologna Airport, with the rumors of a switch to the Scuderia clearly serious this time. Nui, who turned 65 last December, is said to hate nothing more than internal politics inside a team, with the apparent power struggle between team principal Christian Horner and long-serving advisor Helmut Marko putting Red Bull's rivals on high alert. Nui explained, I enjoy it. Ever since I was 10 or so, certainly by 12, I wanted to be a designer. I don't think I knew the word engineer in motor racing, and ideally, Formula One. That's what I put all my teenage years towards. I managed to get that first job in motor racing when I graduated. I've hugely enjoyed it, and I continue to enjoy it. So I think as long as I continue to enjoy it and the team wants me, then I'll continue to do it for the moment, and then we'll have to see in the future. I don't tend to plan too far forward. Ferrari seems to have taken this concept to heart with the next set of planned upgrades for the SF24 after a dismal end to the turbo hybrid era in 2021. Ferrari had the opportunity to get back to the top with the new ground effect cars, and while they did start the 2022 season on a high, it was Red Bull who came up with the best design philosophy for the current regulations, thanks to the legendary F1 car designer, Adrian Newey. In a bid to catch up to Red Bull and Max Verstappen, Frederick Vassar made some key acquisitions from the Milton Keynes engineering squad near the end of last season. Recent reports are suggesting that Ferrari is going to bring its first major upgrades as a result of those personnel changes at Amola. Ferrari's updates will include changes to the radiator inlets and a revised under-tray design aimed at improving aerodynamic efficiency. The decision to replace the lower tray in favor of an inverted solution is expected to improve airflow management around the car. This approach, initially perfected by Adrian Newey at Red Bull, was also seen on the McLarens, albeit to a lesser degree, with a redesigned side pod, a new floor, and an even more extreme front wing. Ferrari's upgrades for Imoli aim to reduce the gap with Red Bull at the front of the field. Ferrari has already shown great signs of improvement in the 2024 season so far. One of their biggest issues in 2023 was poor tire degradation, something that has now been fixed by Frederick Vassar and his team, as evident through Charles Leclerc's 25-lap long first stint on medium tires in Japan. Carlos Sainz believes that the upgrades at Amola will get them even closer to Red Bull. Ferrari may have succeeded in securing Lewis Hamilton's services after several failed attempts in the past. However, their dream of poaching Adrian Newey may require a lot more convincing. There had been reports that the Italian team had offered Newey a deal to join them amid the internal turmoil at Red Bull. While there was no official word, rumors suggested that the British designer wanted to stay at the Milton Keynes outfit, come what may. This resulted in Ferrari possibly taking a gamble in convincing the 65-year-old via an indirect route. Any team would have to wait until the expiry of his contract at the end of 2025 to land Nui, who is currently leading the development of Red Bull's RB17 hypercar, which is due to arrive in September 2025. Nui has been frequently linked with a move to Ferrari over the years, most heavily in 2014, shortly after Red Bull's dominance with Sebastian Vettel was ended by the introduction of F1's V6 hybrid rules. Writing in his 2017 autobiography, Nui pointed to the culture with the Red Bull team. 
who were crowned world champions for the first time in 2010, just five years after arriving on the grid, in an explanation of his decision to stay put. He said, We'd gone from being the paddock joke, the upstart, the party hard fizzy drinks company, to four time world champions, and we'd done it the old fashioned way, using principles that to me were in keeping with the true spirit of motor racing. I thought back to the beginning of the 2012 season when we couldn't get the car right, and I remembered with pride that our shoulders hadn't dropped. We got our heads down, worked through it, and solved the problem. The report describes a state of two worlds at Red Bull, with the teams on track success masking a tug of war over the reorganization of the company behind the scenes. Following the death of Dietrich Machitz in October 2022, while Horner sees himself as the new general and, with this support of Red Bull's Thai majority owners, is keen to marginalize the Austrian elements of the company as much as possible, Nui and lead driver Max Verstappen are among quite a few in the team worried that the revolt could shake the empire, Verstappen, who has been heavily linked with a move to Mercedes in recent weeks, has repeatedly made it clear that his own future is inextricably linked to that of Marco, with the possible departure of Neue seen as big a blow to Red Bull. While Ferrari and Aston Martin are rumored to have made their interests clear, the report claims Mercedes are yet to join the race to sign Nui through concern that the arrival of a designer of his stature could cause too much internal unrest. Aston Martin's status as a UK-based team could potentially give Stroll an edge in the pursuit of Nui's signature, yet the 65-year-old could regard a switch to Ferrari as a crowning achievement after designing title-winning cars for Red Bull, McLaren and Williams over the course of his illustrious career. Now Lewis Hamilton will replicate Michael Schumacher's success at Ferrari, if this Scuderia can lower F1 design legend Adrian Newey from Red Bull. That is the stunning prediction made by former Ferrari driver Gerhard Berger, who believes the signing of Newey would open the door for a new era of Ferrari dominance. Hamilton shook the F1 world in February by announcing that he will join Ferrari on a multi-year contract from 2025, just five months after signing a new two-year deal with Mercedes, after activating a break clause. His departure at the end of this season will bring to an end the most successful team-driver partnership in F1 history, with Hamilton winning six of his seven world championships in Mercedes colors since arriving from McLaren in 2013. Since the announcement of Hamilton's signing, rumors have been rife that Ferrari could take advantage of the current uncertainty at Red Bull by making a move for Nui. Ferrari's links to Nui have been described as clearly serious this time, after the Scuderia last came close to signing the 65-year-old in 2014. If Ferrari does succeed in their pursuit of Nui, however, the team would have to wait until his Red Bull contract expires at the end of 2025 for the F1 design guru to begin work at Maranello. Berger, you spent a total of six seasons with Ferrari over two spells in the 1980s and 90s, believes the signing of Nui would allow Hamilton to recreate the success of Schumacher, you won five consecutive world championships with Ferrari from 2000, on the possibility of Nui's arrival marking the beginning of a second Schumacher era for Ferrari, Berger told Amos, with Hamilton instead of Michael. Speaking at last month's Saudi Arabian Grand Prix where, according to reports, Nui received a lucrative contract offer from Aston Martin owner Lawrence Stroll, Hamilton refused to rule out the possibility of Ferrari making a move for the Red Bull man. He said, I think my move has shown that anything's possible, and it's going to be a really interesting next six months or so, having worked within the team. I know obviously Adrian gets all the praise for everybody's work. I know he's a huge part of it, of course, but I know there's so many engineers in the background that are a huge part of developing the team and the car that they have, and it's not down to one person. So it's not my decision. I'm competing against him this year at the moment, so I can't really talk about next year so far just yet. Well, rather than to be employed by any particular company, he can work as an independent consultant and do work for Mercedes, Ferrari and AM, as all three of them seem to be so very keen on getting his services. Many consultants do consultation work for multiple companies, so why not Nui? Red Bull should be worried. If there's any infighting, it could end up with some folks leaving down the line. 
that could mean Nui, Max, Vash, or other key players who make the team so successful. Time will tell, but they should figure things out as soon as possible. The competition is out there watching, and they have all the incentives to exploit the situation. If Nui left Red Bull for Ferrari or wherever, and Red Bull for the next years continue to dominate and succeed with cars that have not had Nui's input, which would take a couple of years to happen at least, then that would be a big plus on Red Bull. Personally, I don't see Nui leaving RB, nor Max, only retiring from there, which I hope will be soon for both again my personal view. Both are comfortable, but Max more so as Nui is being palmed off by Horner to focus on the hypercar. As long as Red Bull manages to retain some measure of sixes, it's a great chance for the rest of the design team, the ones that do the actual design work under Nui's guidance, to finally step out of his shadow get some credit and make a name of their own. If there's an exodus of valuable employees, well, that would cripple any team, really. But if it happens, it will probably be for other reasons, it could happen to any team. Also, what constitutes an epic disaster, dropping to the level of Ferrari, Mercedes, McLaren, Aston Martin, I doubt it's going to be much worse than that, since we're talking about a team that still manages to excel in all departments, not just aero. Personally, I wouldn't call that a disaster. As a Max fan, I might actually get to see him racing again, which is hardly a bad thing.